please. Skin tight is the story of my skirt. Skin tight is my pants. I'm just gonna say that. Skin tight is my pants on this chair. Hey, uh, happy almost 4th of July. Yeah, I understand thanks. that you're having something you don't normally have, which is a day off. It, <laughs> right? Yeah, we usually, yeah, there's usually two shows on a Wednesday, so, wow. but they're going to stick them on other days. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so they'll make up for yeah, it. Yeah, we did one yesterday on our actual day off. Right, and, right. But no, I'm going to go upstate um, and hang with some girlfriends. I don't have my, my son is away at sleepaway camp for the oh. very first Time. How are you doing I'm with that? I'm a mess. Yeah. <laughs> My husband's in L.A. for most of the summer because he has a regular job. Right. And um, so I'm, yeah, I'm lonely. And I sit and I just get the website for camp and I try to look for pictures of him. In right. the back. And now they have face recognition, so you don't have to sift through, like, thousands of pictures. That, but now it'll be, like, one picture of him behind, like, a girl's picture just in the back, like, hanging out. Like, yeah. You, you know, want to write I, him a letter say, like, get in front of the camera a little but, bit. Well, you know, it's not a put on that smile for a picture but I know that smile of like smile for the picture is it really a smile is it you know I'm like I'm totally he analyzing yeah, yeah maybe smile. you're overanalyzing is it a real right? smile is he happy because right. I'm getting some letters that say he's homesick with a sad face and then other letters that say this is the best summer of his life and so I don't know what I'm doing so when when, when he left did you did he go on a bus he did went you, on a bus so what was what was his how was he, he went, well my best girlfriend from college her son Oliver is they call each other cousins you a little right. older than him, so he had like a big bro. Oh, that's cool. Him. That's and cool. he was very brave. He didn't. He didn't want to hold everybody. Was didn't. He didn't want coddling. And he Did got he on a big bus. bag of candy. He, no, he wasn't allowed <laughs> okay. candy. But right. then they, you know, you can like mail some up right. secret, secretly. I, I think uh, when my daughter went to camp, the, um, the the tradition was you gave them a big bag of candy uh -huh. for the bus, and then whatever they didn't they eat didn't throw out got, got uh, confiscated. Yeah, but by I the mean, camp. that's but nice of the parents to send our kids with like. I know, so you send sugar. them with sugar and hand them off to other people. Get all so that's and why they're, they're excited, the then they get depressed. Yeah, exactly. That's, what, that's the sugar rush. <laughs> um, you're, as you were talking, I couldn't help but notice that beautiful diamond on your finger. Oh, and thanks. Congratulations, yeah. Thank you recently yeah, got yeah, married. Yeah, yeah. That's a beautiful one. Look at that wedding. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That's in my backyard. Oh, are you I, kidding? Yeah. It would, and, uh, oh, there I am in this very yellow suit. You um, should really so, think uh, about renting out your backyard for well, wedding venues. Well, that's the thing, though. I, so you you think if you're going to do it in your backyard, it's going to be really, you know, like low-key and just with a couple people. And we covered, we, we have a pool, we covered half of it. And we had little lily pads floating and we had right. pretty little bistro lights. And that was it. It was going to yeah. be, um, but I had this little extra tier down the hillside that I thought, well, everyone could have cocktails down there. And when we moved in just a couple years ago, it was the last thing we didn't take care of the owners before left the deck kind of grungy and so I was going to fix it up and stain it and my neighbors reported us and the inspectors come back and like make us tear down this deck that we didn't even realize wasn't cool that the, the owners before us had so a week before my wedding I have mud in the backyard and if you know when you're going to put so, so then I thought I'll take the deck down it's right. all mud and I'm just going to put grass and everyone can like you know hang out in a nice grassy little meadow but you have to put that uh, when you want to put side you have to put 50-50 soil which is like half manure yeah half manure and half and it smells for like a week it was horrible I'm such a city person I'm like what are manure. you saying <laughs> I don't even know what is I that 50-50 like, manure and soil <laughs> so then I thought, okay, and this is like, you know, I was just trying to have like think positively. If this is what it is, then everyone will come over and we'll give them seeds for trees, and they'll go in the back and they'll plant a little tree on behalf of our oh, wedding. Oh, that was my way of yeah. <laughs> it's a perfect ending. But you know what else? It will it will shield you from your nosy neighbors when all those trees grow and you don't have to see. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Yeah. Incidentally, my son plays drums for his instruments. Ah, good. <laughs> okay. yeah. Listen, when we come back, we're going to take a commercial break. We're going to talk about being uh, uh, back on the New York stage, back where she belongs. <laughs> Still on Head On Live. Michelle, who is starring in Skin Tight, which is not about, as you said it's earlier, not your, about your skirt. My skirt or your N pants. Not really, no. Not really. <laughs> it is about the way you feel about yourself, though. 
you it's, know. It's, I mean, I, I'll say that the simple, are you asking me what is yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell tell okay, us, okay. what is it? <laughs> it's a nod. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a straight play, so I'm not singing in it, wow. which is such a relief yeah. to not wake up and be like, Oh, oh, is it there? Is my voice there? Is that so, what you have to do? Well, Everybody? when I'm in a musical, I am, I'm always so worried. You know, you have a little cold or something. I just want you to know that sounded really pretty when you just did that. Like, that's what you know is an amazing thing. But that's what all singers do. We wake up and before we do anything else, we just kind of do a little test. Ooh, hmm. Oh, okay. It's there. You know, right. but anyway, doing a play, I don't have to worry about that as much, um, hitting high notes and stuff. Right. But this is a play. Um, and it's about a woman my age whose husband left her for an extremely young woman who um, is a spinning instructor, soul cycle instructor. Oh, and she goes home to her fashion mogul father um, to kind of try to find some, some, some peace and, and, and solace, and only to find that he is now living with his young boyfriend who is about 20 years old and will not leave the house and give her any time and privacy. So it's full of surprises. Yes. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. So she's confronted I with... I can't wait to see that. Is that a good thing? Oh. I can't wait to see it. I'm very excited. Well, yeah, it, you know, you're confronted with, or I am confronted with getting older and how that feels and the significance we feel as women our age in our 40s and, and you know... I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Skin tight.